Here in Seattle, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And our pitcher tonight, Luis Castillo. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. India. A why to kick the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Counts one and oh. There's the strike. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And a pitch. On the ground to short, Crawford. The throw to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's the lineup for the Reds. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Ellie De La Cruz. Big time speed here, Boog. A guy with just terrific wheels and an absolute nightmare for opposing pitchers when he's on base. I mean, players like this who have elite speed, it's like disruptive technology on the base paths. Man, can't wait to watch hey. him run. Will Benson, batting with one down, takes a strike. Benson in his second season batting second in today's lineup and they went out and made a trade for him last season one down base is empty swing at a grounder foul first base side Go back to Cincinnati. that one just misses and the count is one and two I think he wanted that call on the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one in the air center field. Rayleigh in position. He's got it. There's two away. That in third. The first base number 33. Two outs, base is empty. Encarnacion Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. That clips the corner. Inside just missed. Two outs, base is empty. And that's in for a strike. That's a little bit low. Two two now. Out towards right center field. Hanniger sizing it up. Makes the grab, and that'll do it. End of a half inning of play, no score. Back at T-Mobile Park, today's starting pitcher, Graham Ashcraft. Well, it's a three-pitch mix in the repertoire for this starter. He's going to have to command all three if he's going to have success on the hill today. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. Not shortstop. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. And he deals. Splits the plate. That's strike one. one. And 
and here it comes. Yeah. Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. The 0 2. Yeah. And downstairs. One ball, two strikes, you count. That one way inside. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. First pitch just misses. Crawford gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is down low. That one drifts inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Runner at first with no outs here. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. At the belt and fires. Drill to right, way back there, and that is gone. He powers that one out of here. That's how they take the lead. It's 3-0. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. It's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Ty France. Flares it into the outfield, hauls it in for the out. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. He had the sixth spot for them in this one, Mitch Garver. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Now, here is Dominic Canzone. And first offering is fouled off.
and a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. Around second now, going for three. The relay throw. The tag out. Absolutely perfect execution of the relay right there to cut him down in third. He probably should have shut it down at second base and been happy with the double, but it took a great play to get him. You just have to tip your cap. Mitch Garver up to it here. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. Ball and that's right outside. Now. Ball one. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes. pitch foul ball still a one and two count two outs that one way outside it's two and two first inning and already up to 23 pitches Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Kicks and deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And the right hander deals to third. And it's through for a hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And the right there, we see the result. And now the switch hit and catcher, Cal Raleigh. In there, and it's on one. pitch this one lifted in the air left field martini on his way over no trouble here puts it away for the out and that is the third out of the inning three run shot for seattle it's now three nothing major league baseball is on the show Back in Seattle, new inning Reds. getting started. In now for the Reds, Spencer, Spencer Steer. Steer. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here comes a pitch. 
He swings and fouls one off. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. That's towards center. Under it. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. That is good. The shortstop. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Pitch misses there. One and oh. One, no Straighten him up a little bit. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt pop it. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Aye. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One ball. The M's Two, leading by three here at the top of the second. The other way, and that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now batting Jamer Candelario. That's a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Pitch. That's, That's down and in. <laughs> this one in the air center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. So one left for Cincinnati. They trail it here 3-0. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the center fielder, Luke Rayleigh. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but... He's got a real high ceiling. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And the leadoff man aboard. Here's Josh Rojas. Batting none. The third baseman. Josh Rojas. And that's in there at the knees. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Here's your one. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Rayleigh going back for it. And that one is going to go. 
His first homer of the year. It's five zip. Rob the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. So up next, J.P. Crawford. He led off the bottom of the first with a single and then came in to score. Fought off foul. The shortstop takes the ball. Two runs across in the inning. Bottom half of inning number two. And a swing and a miss. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. The pitch. That's ball two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And there's a the ball. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, Whoa. if he swings or not. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Right now at the plate, Mitch, Mitch. Hanniger. He walked Hanniger. and came around to score his first time up. Nope. Just missed. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. In there at the knees. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. He's already homered in this game. Just missed. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Oh. 
Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. That one finds the zone. Hit the count one and two. And the pitch. Just missing there. The count now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the righty deals. Swing and he breaks his bat. Candelario racing over to make the catch. The first baseman, number 23, Ty France. Ty France up next for the Mariners. He's over one. And that one pulled foul. And he deals. Foul ball. Two outs. Yep, that ball went out. And down on strikes. And that ends the inning. Two come in on this Seattle homer. And the lead is now 5 nothing. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Here's the left fielder, Nick Martini. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. The 0 1. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now the catcher up to hit, Tyler Stevenson. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Sizes this one up. They got it for out number two. The batter number six. Second Jonathan India at the plate. Jonathan 0 for 1. He grounded India. out in his first at bat. That one, one not close. And it's 1-0. That's a little bit low. The Mariners leading by five. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's down and away. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And a foul ball. Two outs. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that gets down into the gap. India around third. He's safe. 
picks himself up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. In now for the Reds, Christian Encarnacion Strand. That's in there. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Benson at second with two down. But damage control right there. Run scoring double here for the Reds. It's now 5-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. As we go to the last of the third. And now for Seattle, Dominic Canzone. Canzone. The right-hander back to work. Outside corner, there's a strike. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And the 0-1. Right through there for a strike. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. This one popped up. Candelario under it. Makes the catch for the out. Up next for Seattle, the designated hitter, Mitch. Now Garver. it's the DH, Mitch Garver. Put together a great at bat last time, really battled, ended up with the base hit. There's a strike. All ones in the count. One down, base is empty. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Out of here. His first homer of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 6-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So one out, nobody on. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. He's over one. And no, that one down. cutting but missing down low. And a pitch. Two and oh. One out, base is empty. Fastball and he gets out of the way. The 
and see if he gives him anything to hit here. Next pitch in for a strike, and the count is three and one. Pretty good pitch, backed up a little bit, expecting it to go middle away, and it just sort of stayed on the inside corner. Probably good take, because he would have gotten jammed had he swung the bat. Swing and a ball popped up. De La Cruz drifts towards it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. It's a good recovery, though, after giving now up the batting. home run. Not allowing it to Luke. stay in the head, but going to work Rayleigh. at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one ripped. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. It just got out of here. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 7-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. New pitcher for the Reds, Brent Suter. He's been so good against lefties. So digging in, Josh Rojas. And that's in for a strike. The M's up big in this one here in the last half of the third. Liner, base hit. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. First pitch misses. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball. The 1 1. Swing and a slow roller. India steps on the bag for the force, and that is the inning. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working, and the lead is stretched to 7 1. Back after this on the show. Start of the fourth, and now Spencer Steer. Spencer. Well, every pitcher wants run Steer. support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Well, these Reds just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Ball to strike the pitch. Aye. One ball, two strikes. The one two. Aye. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one away. Up next to Cincinnati. And now the right, the right fielder, fielder, Jake Fraley. Jake Fraley. Here's something cool, Boog. When they finished building T-Mobile Park back in 1999, they actually opened it up in the middle of the season. I remember as a rookie with the Chicago White Sox, we opened the season at the Kingdom, and then when we came back later in the year, we were playing at T-Mobile Park. It's a beautiful place, great scenery from center field, and I always enjoyed playing here.
left hand hitter waits just off the inside corner and a count one and two that one missed one down base is empty spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And he swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. With that kind of velocity, an yeah, elevated that, fastball, that, even if it's still really in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. De La Cruz oh, stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That's in there. And a count even at one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The next oh, pitch misses, three. and that's ball three. Top three. of the zone for a called strike. I got three and two. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Candelario stands in now and watches strike one. Candelario measures six feet, two inches, 220 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Two outs. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Righty to the plate. And oh, ball inside. one. De La Cruz off of first with two away. That oh, just out. misses two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Righty delivers. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with now two back. away. Left fielder, Nick. Once you get the ball Martin. by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Next for Cincinnati, Nick Martini. His first at bat was a strikeout. There's yeah. a strike. strike in there he doesn't seem to like to pitch up hasn't offered on either one of those pitches 0 2 count now I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there first and second two down Pitch misses. Now one and two. And that's downstairs and outside. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around third. 
He will score. It's seven to two. Back to back singles. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And here is Tyler Stevenson. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And it's even up. Right hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss there. One ball. Talk about tying Two a guy three. up. That was ugly. Corners are occupied with two down. Ground ball to the right side. France steps on the bag. They limit the damage here. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 7-2 ball game. And we're back. Lead down the number the two belly. hitter, Mitch Hanniger. Right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. As the lefty gets to work, just oh, missed. Well, these Mariners really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. The throw into second, and that's a leadoff double. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Jorge Polanco up next for the Mariners. He's already homered here in this one. And the first offering is not close. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. Lifted in the air, right center field. Fraley should have it. Calls it in, and there's one away. The first baseman, number 23, Ty France. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ty France. That one's in there. Strike one. Man at second. Slapped foul. And the 0-2. That's a ball. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that bitch. Runner at second here, one gone. And a 1 2. And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Martini going back. Got it. Bangs against the wall, but holds on. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play, and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because 
that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold onto it after contact. And a foul ball. Wanted a one. Runner at second, two down. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Just missed. That clips the corner. Man on second, two down. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And now the lefty. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field on the move. Pulls it in to end the inning. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Mariners seven and the Reds two. Back in Seattle, top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jonathan India. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. Well, these Reds, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Rip towards third. Whips it across. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now the center fielder, Will Benson. One for two. Let's go, Seattle. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Kicks and deals. Right side, Polanco. Gathers and throws to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. The first baseman, number 33, Christian Encarnacion. Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. That's in there. Going one. All one's the count. Two down, nobody on. Out to center. Makes the catch, inning over. Three up, three down that time. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mariners seven and the Reds two.
We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the Mariners DH. Mitch Garver. The why to kick the pitch. And misses inside. Action in the pen down there. Nick Martinez. Loosening up for manager David Bell. And here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Full count. Lined into right. Pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. The batter. The catcher. Cal. Raleigh. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that nope. big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's, that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. On, the pitch. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Thank Next you. pitch is downstairs. And yeah, there's ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Rayleigh really? up for the third time here. Ball Watches one, no that strike. one miss. Swung on, belted. That one back. And forget it. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add a pair. It's 9-2. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through it. Now the third baseman, Josh Rojas. Ball pitch one. misses. Ball one. The lefty fires. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Two runs across in the inning. Last half of inning number five. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swings and misses. Struck him out. 
Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Oh, Hitters, especially that's with two shot. strikes, have to be ready Thank to pull you. the trigger. Crawford. Foul ball there. And now the one. That one fouled off. Ball on there. Two, two pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Two outs. On the ground, right side, India. In plenty of time to first. Play made, that ends the inning. Two come in on this Seattle homer. It's now a 9-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, top six. And now here is Spencer Steer. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Activity in the bullpen. Bryce Miller appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Another 0-2 oh, count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Up the middle. On to France. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now batting. Right fielder. Jake. Jake Fraley getting ready to hit. And that one wrapped foul. Now the 01. Foul ball. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. One and ball. now one two and three. two. That's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. That one finds the corner. And that's strike one. And there's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Nothing across here this half. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the M's nine and the Reds two. Bottom of the six, and stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. The pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Benson settles under this one, makes the grab one down. No matter, number seven, second baseman. Jorge Polanco will hit next, one for three. Just off the outside edge, and that is ball one. Strike one. The Mariners up big in this one here in the bottom of the sixth. 
The one one is fouled off. In the air to left center on the move to the gap. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The first baseman, number 23, Tom. And Brent. next will be the cleanup hitter, Ty France. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Center field should have this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now here is Jamer Candelario. Castillo back to work. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And the pitch. Line drive. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit couple of hits in a row for him oh, here no, they really bad. turned on that one no, and no. as it hooked down the Nick. line it was hard to tell Martin. if it would stay fair but it just barely sneaked in there Nick Martini digs in now gets the outside corner with that one man he's been really good about to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. Candelario at second with nobody out. Strike. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. He's mixing his pitches really well. Laid on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. That one, one almost got him. Two strikes. And another ball. Runner at second. Nobody out. Got him swinging. And here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Luis Castillo won't go any further. And he exits with a nice lead. Threw the ball well. And we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. New pitcher on now, Bryce Miller. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Next to hit, Tyler Stevenson. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. The throw in. He pulls into second as a run scores. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Jonathan India now at the plate. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. That one is gone. 
His first homer of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 9-5. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. That nope. one misses. 1-0. Oh. Miller, 25 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2021. In the air, left field. Kenzone gets under it. Puts it away for the out. Stepping in, Christian Encarnacion Strand. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Let's go, and hey. fires in a fastball at 95. That one, one missed. Hard hit, left side. That's the third out. Cincinnati plates a pair on this homer. It's now 9-5. You're dialed into the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Nick Martinez. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Now the left fielder, the Dominic Canzone. The left fielder, Dominic Canzone. The pitch. And there's a ball. Movement in the bullpen. Emilio Pagan getting loose out there. And the righty deals. That one's in there. And now it's even one and one. And a swing and a miss. Good late one sink ball. on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Kicks and fires. And that's a strikeout looking. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. The wind of the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. One Not ball. even close there. Going to count one and two. Hit hard. That gets through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now batting. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. Raleigh. Off the mark there. And that's Count ball one. Out. Oh. 
wouldn't oh. chase that time. Man at first, one away. A little out front there as he swings through it. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And oh, another three. ball. Yeah. And he walked him. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience yeah, in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And now for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Little chopper rolls foul. Ground ball left side and it's through for a hit. Here comes Garver. He'll score easily. It's now 10 to 5. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And up next for Seattle, Josh Rojas. And he's already left his mark on this game. He certainly has, Boog. A two-run shot in the second inning, and that made an early impact on this game in a big way. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone, so perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. To the right side. India. They put the tag on him on the first He's double up. play, and that's the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's down to five at 10 5 now. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. We go, we go to the eighth. Now it's the but Reds' DH. Spencer, Spencer Steer. Steer. Miller back to work. And yeah, that's nope, a little that's high. Ball one, no fight. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 1 1. And that one fouled off. Yeah, the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. And it's fouled away. And he deals. Pitches in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited now to the charity one. golf tournament this offseason. Ellie. Ellie De La Cruz, De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. A strikeout and a walk. And a foul ball. The M's leading by five, and we're at the top of the eighth. Strike two. 
Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. That one missed ball, inside, and it's one and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. That's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late, gave up on it a little bit early. Candelario stands in now, looks at that one inside. Fraley, the runner at first with two gone. That ball misses two. the zone. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. There's a strike. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Right handed reliever. And three, that two. one almost got him. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Riding to the plate. Hey. Struck him out without a swing. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Reds leave one. Work to do. It's two. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Emilio Pagan. He last pitched two days ago. J.P. Crawford getting ready to hit. The shortstop, J.P. Crawford. The pitch. There's a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. That's out to center field. Settles underneath it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, right fielder, Mitch. So up next, Mitch Hanniger. And that's outside. Ball one. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Buck Farmer getting ready to go. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. in there across the letters can't connect on the curveball struck him out that's a pretty nasty pitch right there I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s it's got so much spin on it and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit it was a good one for the swinging strikeout Polanco, the, the next to hit, takes ball one. Out there to center, under it. And makes the grab, and that'll do it. So they make short work of them there. Ninth inning coming up, it's the Mariners 10 and the Reds 5.
We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Stanek. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Nick Martini digs in now. The left fielder, number 23, Nick Martini. And a pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. And that one is inside. The belt and fires. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Under it. Nabs it. And there's one down. Now back. Pepper, Tyler. And ready to hit Stevenson. now for Cincinnati. Tyler Stevenson. First offering misses badly for ball one. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. Taylor Saucedo, the left-hander, up and throwing. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. One down, base is empty. Ball in. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The pitch. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much now gifted back. him first base with a quick free pass. Jonathan, Jonathan India, India, the next to hit for the Reds. In there for strike one. Oh and one. And a pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Brings it in. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So it's their last chance in this one. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Righty delivers on the ground right side. Polanco on the first ball game and the Mariners slug their way to a win in this one. That's how you check a box to start your career boo. First MLB win in your first MLB start. Congratulations to him on a major milestone. And your final 10 to 5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.